Hey everybody, it's Dusty from Dusty Beards again. Today we're going to go over carrier oils and their differences. Now I know most of you probably don't have a clue what I'm talking about, but at the base of your oil, of the beard oil that you use, you've got different carrier oils like your jojoba, your argan, grapeseed, all that kind of stuff. There are different qualities to each one of those. There's some of them that you don't need to use by themselves. There's some of them that you need to mix with others. We're going to go over it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to go over the carrier oils that you have in your different beard oils. Every one of them is different. Everybody uses different things for different reasons. We're going to touch base on just a few of them and let you guys know what you're actually looking for. Now, first things first, not all beard oils are created equal. They're not. You can go buy a $5 bottle. You can do your dollar beard club and get you a little dollar with your, your $6.95 shipping, spend $8 a month to get this cheap bottle of nothing. We've been over that before. You don't need to do that. You need to make sure that you're getting what your skin needs. Now, every man's skin is different. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody's skin reacts differently to different types of oils, different types of blends. Never go for cheap is what I'm getting at. You never want to get a bottle that's just got no scent to it and it's just a bottle of, of argan and jojoba. Just that. You don't want that. You need what your skin needs. You need to do your research when you're buying your product. Don't just buy it because the bottle looks cool. Don't buy it because it's cheap. Don't buy it because it's the most expensive on the market. You've just got a big old fat paycheck and you can afford it. Make sure you get what your skin needs. So first, let's go over argan oil. So argan oil, it's, it's good in moderation, but let me blow your mind. It is not great for your beard. Just argan oil is not just gonna be enough for your beer. So let me break it down for you. Argan oil is actually, the molecules in it are actually too large to get down to the cuticle, to the, to the follicle of the hair. It might do good to make your beard shiny. It might be really great for your, your beard to look good, to straighten up a little bit. But it's not that good for your skin because it can't get down into the pores. It can't get down to where it needs to get to make your skin healthy. So if you do what I do, and you typically put a beard oil in your beard right after you've taken a shower, and it, and it helps, you put it in there while it's damp, you dry it out with a blow dryer, you straighten out your beard, it feels good, it feels soft, it feels shiny. Let me tell you something, over time, just an argan oil base to your beard oil will dry your beard out because it's not getting to the skin like it should. The hair is gonna start absorbing your natural oil from your skin, and it's just gonna dry out and then you've wasted your time putting it in your beard. And while it's doing that, you have this, this barrier, this, this ineffective use of an oil on your hair that is reducing the conditioning that it's supposed to be doing, that the beard oil is supposed to be doing to your beard. Um, it's, it's, like I said, it's gonna dry it out. It's gonna tear it up and you're gonna have a ruined day, especially if you're like me and you're sitting outside all day and it's not really, it's not really a good idea to stop working, to go tend to your beard. You want something that's gonna last all day to protect your skin, to protect your beard, and make it looking good all day long. All right, so next let's talk about jojoba oil. Jojoba is another one of your most common used carrier oils in your oil blends today. While it's good for you, it can be pretty bad and pretty bad looking for you. And let me explain that. So your skin naturally puts out sebum oil. And when your skin reabsorbs sebum oil, it, it blocks those hair cuticles from producing more, which regulates how much skin your, 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 how much oil your skin is putting out. What ends up happening is when you use jojoba oil though, it, it removes that, your skin pumps out more oil, now it's coated with jojoba oil, and now you could have a nasty, nasty mess. Now, if you use like you're supposed to within moderation, you can have really, really great use of it in your hair and your skin. But if you use too much of it and you you cleanse off that natural sebum oil, your skin's just going to keep pumping out oil and you're going to have a nasty looking shiny beard. And that's it. And it's not doing you any good to have it. So jojoba could be good in like a balm or a butter, 
But if you use too much of it and it's your base for your, your oil, your beard oil, you could end up having very, very nasty side effects. Again, it's really good for your hair and your skin within moderation, but you wanna have other things in there too that, that helps your skin and your hair produce and, and keep healthy, your, especially for your beard, the entire day that you're using it. All right, so next we're, we're gonna talk about some good stuff. We're gonna talk about apricot oil. So it rapidly absorbs into the skin and the hair. And it, it does it immediately. So it, it's, it's like, as soon as you put it on, you're gonna start feeling it. You're gonna start noticing a difference. It quickly relieves itch, dry skin, chapped skin, reduces wrinkles, all the good stuff, all the things you could think of. Now, granted, if you've got a big beard, nobody's gonna see wrinkles, but you could take a little bit and put it under your, your eyes, on your cheek, put it on your forehead if you got a wrinkly forehead. Um, just because it's beard oil doesn't mean that that's the only place it can go. Now, you don't want to put a whole lot of it on your face. Then you're just going to walk around and look like a, a ceramic doll. You don't want that. But it's good for you. It's it's really, really good for you. Now, if you've got like an argan and a jojoba like we talked about before, and then you have the equal amount of apricot in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to balance it out pretty good. And you're going to be good to go. But again, just just because it's good for you doesn't mean that you just wash your face with it. That's not what it's made for. It's made to keep your beard healthy, to keep the skin healthy. Therefore, if you've got a beard oil that's got it, you're good to go. All right, next we're gonna talk about grapeseed oil. Now this is an anti-inflammatory. So if you've got very sensitive skin, your skin turns red real easy, it's gonna be great for it. So since it's an anti-inflammatory, your clogged pores, your follicle inflammation, itchy, irritated skin, it'll kill it. It'll, it'll destroy it. It's very, very good for it. Now, it may be a little more expensive, especially if you have other things in there, several different carrier oils blended in together, you're gonna spend a little bit more for it. But if you use it in moderation, and you don't like, like if you've watched my videos before, all you need is just a little dime-sized puddle in your palm. You don't need a whole big old, like soaking your hands with it and then rub it in your beard. You don't need that. But if it's got grapeseed oil in it and you've got very, very sensitive skin like I do, it's going to be amazing. It's going to it's going to change your life. It's going to change the health of your beard. It's going to make your beard look better and you're good to go. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk about castor oil. Now, they call this the miracle oil. It is it is very, very thick compared to other oils. It is very, very good though, compared to other oils. Now you're gonna spend a little bit more for it because of its thickness and its density. You're gonna, you're gonna buy it, trust me, but you're gonna love it. You have to use it in smaller amounts though. It can cause an irritation, um, but it has some of the most beneficial properties of any carrier oil out there. So as I stated, castor oil has several different good qualities. It heals and prevents ingrown hairs. It obliterates clogged pores. It strengthens hair naturally. It increases blood flow for, for better growth. It uh, is anti-inflammatory. Locks in moisture leading to, to darker hair. Prevents breakage and split ends. It just goes on and on. It has everything that your beard needs, everything that your skin needs to, to help keep your beard healthy. So again, while it might have all those good qualities, you don't want to use a whole lot. Being as thick as it is, it's almost like if you take the difference in like a olive oil and then a motor oil and you pour them out on the table, that motor oil is going to run slower than the olive oil is. It's more dense. So being that it's more dense, you don't need a whole lot more of it. Just a, just a little bit goes a long way. So if you've got a beard oil blend that's got castor oil in it, even if it's the leading oil that's in there, don't use a lot of it. Don't irritate your skin to a point that, that you can't stand it, but get what you need for your beard to take to stay healthy. All right, so some other carrier oils that have very good protein qualities in them to, to keep your hair stronger and healthier. You have almond oil, hazelnut, rice bran, avocado oil, all those kind of things are good for your skin. But again, don't take what I'm telling you as, as gospel. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody's beards are different. Everybody doesn't have a long, healthy beard. Some people just have short stubble. 
and they just need enough for their skin to stop from itching. Now that's that's the worst part of it is the itch phase, is especially when you're growing out. The itch phase is insane. It, it, it'll dry you up, it'll itch, it'll burn, and you can't keep your hands off of it. So get you a good, healthy beard oil. Make sure you're taking care of your skin. Um, I wanted to make this video. I had a, uh, one of my common watchers ask me the other day in a live to do this. I, I appreciate the idea. It's been fun doing the research. You guys stay healthy out there. Please leave me a like. I appreciate everybody's support. Subscribe if you have not already. Share this video. Let's get this channel going. Again, I appreciate every last one of you. So stay healthy, stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys around.